If you're looking at this view in the 40s, you would not have the same background as you have now. What you have seen instead, it's a bluff full of piers from oil exploration. Now you don't see any sign of it. Very soon there will be no more tanks over there that store oil. We've been restoring the habitat that have been degraded from agriculture. We recovered the snowy plovers. Now they're breeding again here. So our job here in the reserve is to continue to improve it in terms of its biological value. And the place keeps getting better and better. We have a bobcat now. We even saw a bear <laughs> last year. There are tracks of a mountain lion and diversity and abundance of birds is incredible. People visit this place, they use it heavily for research, for classes, or even for recreation. In 69, we had the Santa Barbara oil spill. This place was covered in tar. It was one of the pushes towards the Endangered Species Act. Also, the Coastal Commission, the creation of the Coastal Protection Act, because people knew this place was beautiful and it had a lot of potential and they just couldn't deal with the continued degradation. So we have to remember that humans are the ones that are bringing this place back. So there's hope. This is a good story of reclamation, of restoration. I think it's a very important example to other situations where we continue to see degradation. But it is possible to revert that process. And it's possible to revert that process with humans included. <laughs>